Alrighty. So this is going to be a reading for my Taurus. Thank you so much for joining me here. This is going to be a look at the energy surrounding you for the next 72 hours. So January 31st until the 2nd of February. So let's go ahead and look at the energy. If you're new here, welcome. Make sure you subscribe and you hit that notification bell. If you would also like a personal, that information will be listed below in the description. All right, Taurus for the next 72 hours. Taurus. All right, so the overall energy is the Ace of Wands. Hold on. Your current energy is the Two of Cups. The challenge is the Everything is Fine card. Advice from your spirit guides is the Queen of Swords. And then the outcome of this time frame is the Justice card in reverse. Taurus for the next 72 hours. Alrighty. And we have work through your fears. Okay. So let's talk about this. So the first card we have is the Ace of Wands. Um, representing that overall energy. So this is really good. This is motivation. This is that push. This is getting back into creativity. This is applying a new perspective um, to your situation and expecting different results. Um, this is like different motivations that are kind of coming through. So there could be, you know, some goals that you're trying to lay out and that you're trying to accomplish here or realizing that there's certain things that you would like to accomplish Beyond just this time frame. Um, and this could be you, like I said, getting that push to finally go ahead and do what you need to do. Um, this is also for some of you starting up existing connections again, and there may be chemistry there, or this may even be some of you dealing with someone a little bit newer. Um, and like I said, there being a little bit of sexual chemistry there or just chemistry overall. Um, Yeah, this is a different, this is different energy. This is motivation more than anything that I'm seeing. Now, when it comes to your current energy, I do have the two of cups. So, hmm, this is you kind of looking at your relationship. And some of you, this is very much valuing your partner. This could be them adding to you in certain ways where you feel like other people haven't added to you before. Um, there's also the energy of you and your person opening up to each other emotionally and discussing what you guys both need from the relationship. Um, hmm. This is also you guys trying to get inner balance. So some of you, it's not about being in a relationship. This is you trying to have balance so that before you are going back into the dating world or the, the date dating, whatever, the dating scene, excuse me, um, that you have personal balance before you can be with someone. This is also you just looking at your personal relationships as a whole um, and looking at whether or not some of them are a benefit to you or a detriment. Now, when it comes to the challenge, I do have the everything is fine card. So to me, this is like the Ten of Swords, but I guess there's a Ten of Swords in the deck and then there's an everything is fine card, which is so weird. OK, um, but with this card, the challenge may be you accepting the fact that everything is fine after, you know, going through so much struggle and strife. Like the way I'm looking at this card. Yes, this woman has all these tens, uh, Ten of Swords in her uh, side and stuff like that. But the difference between this card and the regular 10 of swords is the woman is usually like on her back and the, the swords are stabbing her in the back, but she's, you know, of course taking all these swords, but she's still fine. Like she's, she's, she's fine. She's just on the phone chilling. So for a lot of you, you've gone through a lot of struggle, strife, betrayal, disappointment, even sometimes having a defeatist mindset, but everything's fine. And some of you may not be wanting to really understand that or may not be getting that. So, yeah, that's coming up here now. 
Hmm. Some of you also, the challenge may be the fact that something is ended. And like I said, you may be struggling with understanding that everything's going to be fine. Now, when it comes to the advice, I do have the Queen of Swords. So this is being honest with yourself, being brutally honest with yourself in terms of what's not working. So you can cut out the access energy in your life. Um, hmm. This is also speaking your truth as well. No more holding your tongue and allowing people to walk all over you as well. And this is coming up with the strategy, a plan. If you're trying to be a business owner, if you're trying to be successful in whatever field you may be working on um, or working in, you need to have a, a plan, a strategy. You can't just say, oh, I'm going to be successful and then don't have a plan because where, when do you... When do you get to a place of success if you never have a, a real strategy to even get there? Is it just going to happen on its own? And we know that doesn't happen. Okay. So the next card that we have, we do have the justice card in reverse. This is representing the outcome. And okay, so this could be someone around you who may have done you wrong, possibly getting a level of their karma back. Um, and of course, we're not going to focus on that too much. But if you did have somebody who did did you wrong, like steal money from you or, you know, cheat on you with your best friend or something like something really, really messed up. Um, this is them getting their karma. Uh, some of you guys could be deciding to postpone a divorce. Or your person, like your, your husband or your wife may be acting as if they don't really truly want a divorce after maybe showing that for a while. Hmm. There's also the energy of you guys feeling like things are just a little imbalanced. But... When it comes to the other energy surrounding you guys, we do have work through your fears. So this is you needing to have to work through some sort of fear during this time frame in order for you to get to your desired goal or to get through a certain situation. Uh, this could be you needing to work through your fears in order to accept new love into your life. This may be you needing to work on your fears so that you can actually be successful because some of you may have a fear of success or even a fear of failure in front of other people. But there's a need for you to work through these fears in order for you to get to your desired goal. So this is what I see. I hope that you enjoyed this reading and you took whatever you need to take from this reading. Uh, if you did, thumbs up the video and subscribe. Check out the description if you want a personal and I will see you in the next one.